so much. You know what, Beth? No doubt about it. Crossville is one of the top destinations in our viewing area. You better believe and quite a bit to see and do when you visit Crossville and Cumberland County. It's full of history. It's a great place for retirees. You find shopping, camping, hiking, and yes, even golf. Oh yeah. Something for everyone in the family. And we want to bring in two folks from Crossville. We have Carolyn from downtown downtown Crossville. I live in Knoxville. You guys live in Crossville. Come on over. And Melanie um, with the Chamber. Is that the that's Chamber right? Well, thank you guys mm -hmm. for coming on with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, and we appreciate you both hosting us. Mm -hmm. You all have been so welcoming. This is such a great place to visit, but it's also a great place to live. Tell me, Carolyn, why you love this community so much. Well, when I retired here 20 years ago uh, from Washington, D.C., I wanted to be a volunteer for Downtown Crossville. And at the time, Downtown Crossville, Inc. worked to get the third star for Cumberland County. And Downtown Crossville has been involved with many, many things. The Palace Theater res restoration, and now we do a lot of different projects. And the biggest project that's coming up is our Boo on Main Street, which is the end of the month where all the streets are closed and the children come and free candy is given by local merchants and we just welcome all the children in the community. Yeah. Yeah. So other uh, events that we have in Crossville are Friday at the Crossroads. We have Taste of Crossville. We have uh, downtown uh, Crossville, what was it, downtown, the dinner on the, lunch on the lawn. Uh -huh the Cumberland County Humanities, uh, they do that. But we had the Homestead Apple Festival that had over 11,000 attend. Wow. We had, yeah, the Big Foot Festival, they had over 9,200 to attend there. We had the fly-in, we had, um, let's see, we have the Boo on Main coming. Of course, we have the Homestead Artisan, that's gonna be this weekend. Then we have the Homestead, uh, the Parade. What else do veterans we have? Parade well, coming up. Yeah. The Veterans Parade is coming up yeah. and you've gone through a lot of the events. Where can people find out more information? Should so, they go to their, their your website or is there a social media page? Yes, it's it's uh, Explore Crossville. They go to that and go to events. It's a website that goes to the Facebook and we go on there and share all the community events that we have. Thank yep. you guys so much. You've done so much for the community, and it looks lovely. Yeah. All the harvest, fall decor, you guys are ready for the season. We, we have a wonderful design team yeah. that really has a lot of fun decorating downtown. Well, please for share our kudos it looks fantastic. with them. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yep. thank we you also have the hiking marathon in October, so that gives everybody the opportunity to visit. There's over 31 hiking trails that are in Cumberland County wow. that you can come and enjoy. It's amazing. Thank you, ladies, Thank for you. being Thank with us today. So we much. really appreciate, appreciate it. You. Certainly. Thank you. And we talk about it being an outdoor playground, and it really is. By the way, Crossville is also the golf capital of the state. If you didn't know this, there are more than 10 golf courses in a 20 mile radius here. The Bear Trace Golf Course at Cumberland Mountain State Park has been named one of the top 10 you can play in North America by Golf Magazine. And year after year, it's named the number one public course in Tennessee. Whether you're a pro or just learning how to swing the club, there are courses here for any and all skill levels. Absolutely, and a great golf course community. Fairfield Glade is another top draw for Cumberland County. The resort living area has long made list of where to retire. Yeah, huge retirement community here in Cumberland County. It's frequently included in magazine list of where to retire, and it's easy to see why. There are golf courses, lakes, walking trails, even a marina bed. Yeah, and we are in downtown Knoxville right now on our drive to this location across from the courthouse. We passed the historic Palace Theater on the corner. It's a place to visit. It opened back in November of 1938. It's now fully restored and is a community auditorium as well as a visitor center. Definitely put it on your list of things to visit when you come to Crossville. Absolutely, and I tell you what, Beth, we're in a little bit of shade right here. It's uh, in the sun, it's warmer. <laughs> in the shade, it's cooler. We are live in Crossville, and that is today's city spotlight. Yeah, Crossville right here in Cumberland County. We're talking about how beautiful a city it is. And